welcome to the weekly Heartbeat. If you've been watching our previous Heartbeats, then you'll know that we've been talking about God's abundant grace. We have a God who is so loving and so kind that he sent his son Jesus to earth to die on the cross for us, to rise again from the dead. In doing that, he overcame death, death which separated us from God. Jesus overcame that so that one day we can spend eternity with him. God knew that we were never going to do that be able to do that by ourselves. God knew that we needed a saviour. So God put kindness into action and he sent his son Jesus to die for us. Now, the more and more that I reflect on that in my life, as I try to be a Christian, as I hear about that, especially every year at Easter, the more I think about that, the more I think about how, how does that affect the way I live my life? What does that mean for me? I want to be a Christian, so I want to model my life on Jesus. So how does God's grace, who gave to me when I didn't deserve it, how does that grace affect the way I live my life? And one of the ways that I want to talk about today and focus on for this week is about being a person of kindness. God's grace in my life causes me to want to be a person of kindness, and that's what God calls us all to. A few years ago, I went to an art exhibition with my sister and my daughter. And this art exhibition was in the city. It was a parade through the streets. And we decided that we would train it. So that way we didn't have to drive and find a parking spot. So we went to the train station, went to the train platform to buy a ticket. And all the ticket machines, except for one, were broken, which meant there were about 100 of us lining up at this one ticket machine to buy our tickets. And it was going pretty smoothly at first. And then after a little while, the queue stopped and we're waiting and waiting. And all these trains are going past, but we couldn't get on yet because we didn't have a ticket. And people in the line are starting to get quite frustrated. And they're saying some comments and, you know, looking up the front, what's happening. People are stepping out of the line to have a look. And you could feel the level of frustration getting higher. And I thought to myself, maybe I should get out of the line and go up the front and see if someone needs some help. And I then thought, oh, no, someone else can do that. I've got my daughter to look after and I kind of, to be honest, just can't be bothered. So I didn't do anything. And then a few minutes later, someone else stepped out of the line. They went up to the front and they asked the people at the front of the line, do you need any help? And it turned out that they didn't speak English. They didn't understand the currency and they were a few cents short. So this other person helped them. And I remember later, once I'd actually gotten on the train, actually being quite disappointed in myself that I hadn't stepped out of the line and gone and offered some help, that I hadn't been kind to these people. They would have heard the abuse that people were yelling at them like back in the line. And I didn't do anything about it. And I was disappointed because I know that God calls me to be a person of kindness. I know that he would have wanted me to step out of that line and to go and offer some help. And at first, sometimes I think that talking about kindness can seem easy. But when we think of situations in our lives where we've had to be kind, we've made a choice to be kind, or maybe we haven't, we realize that kindness is not actually always so easy. It can actually be quite difficult. Often our world tells us that we need to think about ourselves. If someone treats us harsh, treats us harshly, then we should treat them harshly back, um, that we shouldn't care about other people. But as a Christian, that's not who I'm called to be. We're meant to turn the other cheek. I'm meant to put others first and I'm meant to go last. I'm meant to be a person of generosity and I'm meant to be a person of kindness. And kindness comes in many different forms and I've just listed some of them. Kindness can be treating someone kindly when they're having a bad day or they're being treated unfairly. It can be being generous, being loving, compassionate, thinking of others. It's listening. It's changing your direction. It's taking time for people, putting others first. It's being merciful. And kindness is showing grace when it's not deserved. I want to read to you from the book of Titus. Chapter 3, verses 4 to 5, it says this, But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Saviour appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, 
but according to his mercy. You know, the character of our God is a God of kindness. He can't help but be kind to us. Later in Ephesians, it says that God expressed his kindness to us by sending Jesus. We didn't earn God's kindness. We couldn't earn his kindness. We couldn't have done anything because of our sin. So God knew that we needed Jesus. If you've been to a wedding before, you may have noticed often at many weddings, there's a reading that they read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it starts off by saying, love is patient, love is kind. God loves us so much that he can't help but be kind. God is love, love is kind. God can't help but be kind and gracious to us. So I wanna encourage you this week to be a person of kindness. I wanna encourage you to show that loving kindness to others when they don't deserve it, just as God was gracious to us. So I'm talking about a different kindness here. I'm not talking about easy kindness. We know what easy kindness is. I'm sure when you were a child, maybe you're in the playground sitting next to your friend, Sally, if you had a friend named Sally, and you know, you share your chips and Sally shares her chocolate bar with you. You know, it's easy to be kind to people who are kind to us, but God wants us to be kind to our enemies. God wants us to be kind to those who are indifferent, who are rude to us, who reject us. That's who God wants us to be kind to. So I'm calling this the kindness challenge. This is a kindness that goes above and beyond what the world calls us to. This is greater than that. I think we all know sadly how it is to be treated poorly, to be called names, to be relegated to a lower status, to be left out, to be talked about. You know, when I was younger, I thought that this was just primary school stuff. And as I got older, some of that would go away. But sadly, that's not the case. You probably know what it's like to talk about someone. Maybe you've done it. I know I have, unfortunately, in a workplace, or maybe people have talked about you. We know what that feels like. And those situations are the situations where we have a choice to make about whether we're kind to someone or whether we're not. That even though someone may not deserve it, we choose to be kind. Kindness reveals our heart. And if I wanna be like God, which I do, if I wanna be like Christ, then I should be a person of kindness. And if I can be kind, then I can show that I'm being a person of Christ. So I wanna give you just two points today to think about. And the first one is that it's the Holy Spirit that develops kindness in us. If we really want to be kind people, genuine Christ-like kindness lived throughout our lives, then we have to ask the Holy Spirit to come because I can't do it in my own strength. I need the Holy Spirit to come and live in me. We know that one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is kindness. If I have the Holy Spirit living in my life, then what flows out of my life is kindness. And that's who I wanna be, a person of kindness. The second point I wanna make is that kindness takes action. It takes effort. It's not like what I did at the train station where I couldn't be bothered. To be kind, we actually have to do something. We have to step out. It's easier to ignore a situation, to let something pass us by, to be part of the crowd, but that's not who God calls us to be. You might know the story of the Good Samaritan. Jesus one day is sitting with a group of people and someone says to Jesus, who is my neighbor? In other words, the person was asking Jesus, who do I need to care for? And Jesus goes on to tell the story of the Good Samaritan. And this story is really a story about someone who could be bothered and those that couldn't. You know, there's a man who he gets robbed, beaten, assaulted, and he's lying on the side of the road dying. And along comes a priest who sees him, ignores him, decides to go to the other side of the road and walks on. Then along comes a Levite, who was someone who was quite influential at the time. And he sees the assaulted man, decides to ignore him and walks on. But then along comes a Samaritan and a Samaritan at the time that Jesus is telling this story was someone who was quite despised. But the Samaritan sees the man who's been beaten. He's moved with compassion and he does something about it. He bandages the man's wounds. He pours oil on them. Then he takes him to an inn and pays for him. And he says to the innkeeper, 
any cost that you have, when I come back, I'll pay for it. It cost this man something to be kind. In a similar way, it cost God something to be kind to us in giving us his son, Jesus. God put kindness into action because he can't help it. From God flows love and kindness. And that's what I want to flow out of my life. I want to be, take God's grace in my life so much that out of me through the Holy Spirit flows kindness. So this week, why don't you ask yourself these few questions? Where are the areas of your life that you could show kindness? And in particular, where are the hard areas of your life where it may be difficult to show kindness? And I want to encourage you to take up the kindness challenge. Ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life and to help you in those situations where it's difficult to be kind. So why don't we pray? In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, I thank you for your grace and for your kindness, for sending your son Jesus to us. Lord, I pray that you would send the Holy Spirit into my life and to all these ladies watching, Lord, that you would help us to be kind in those situations where it's extremely difficult, where maybe we don't feel like it, Lord. I pray that you would help us to be Christ-like in our kindness to love others as they deserve to be loved, to love others maybe when they don't deserve it for what they've done to us. Lord, would you come and would you live in my heart so that I can give you to others. I ask this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.